So today we shall discuss forest fires, some of the causes and their effects and how they can be controlled. We will also look at a couple of case studies to see what exactly goes on in a forest fire. In general, forest fires are an issue that is quite often underestimated by us, especially because of the fact that forest fires occur far away from our homes and in no way directly, immediately affect us. But imagine walking through a forested area and seeing this scene before your very own eyes. It is a horrifying and traumatizing experience, to say the least. <clears throat> Every living thing and tree burned down within a radius of hundreds of meters or even kilometers just because of a slight mishap. A truly terrifying disaster that we often overlook. So let me introduce you to the concept of a forest fire a bit more formal, uh, formally. So uh, as I al already told you, the most common hazard in forests is forest fire. They pose a threat to the forest's wealth as well as the entire flora and fauna composing that region and seriously disturb the biodiversity and ecology of said region. So during the summer, when there's no rain for months, this forest become filled with dry dead leaves and twigs which burst into which can burst into flames at the smallest spark forest fires causes imbalances in nature and endangers biodiversity by reducing faunal and floral wealth traditional methods of prevention are not applicable to forest fires especially because of the presence of large amounts of inflammable material and public awareness on the matter is the crux of the problem and needs to be increased, particularly amongst these people who live closer to or in forested areas. So let's look at some causes of forest fire to see where the problem really starts. So when we look at the causes of forest fires, we can di easily divide them into two broad categories. The environmental fires which are beyond our control and of course human related fires which are controllable. Looking at the environmental factors, uh, as mentioned earlier, many forest fires start from natural causes such as lightning during thunderstorms and rain which can set trees on fire. However, the rain accompanying the lightning often extinguishes such fires without causing much more damage. Another reason is high atmospheric temperatures and dryness during summer months which offer favorable circumstances for a fire to start. Environmental causes are largely related to climatic conditions as we have just seen such as temperature, wind speed and direction, level of moisture in soil and atmosphere and duration of the dry spells during summer seasons. Other natural causes are the friction of bamboo swaying due to high wind velocity and rolling stones that result in sparks similar to flints used by primitive men to start fires setting up fires in highly inflammable leaf litter on the forest floor. Looking at some human related factors, we see that fire is caused by a source of fire such as a naked flame from a lighter or a bonfire, a cigarette, an electric spark or any source of ignition comes into contact with the inflammable material present in the forest. Human related causes can result from human activity as well as methods of forest management. These can be intentional or unintentional and for example, uh, we can look at the grazers and gatherers of various forest products starting small fires to obtain good grazing grass as well as to facilitate gathering of minor forest produce. Of course, we can also talk about the centuries old practice of shifting cultivation which is especially popular in the northern eastern uh, region of India uh, such as in parts of Orissa and Andhra Pradesh. The uses of fires of villagers to ward off wild animals and fires lit intentionally by people living around forests for recreation are also major causes that contribute to forest fires. The causes of forest fire have been increasing rapidly. The problem has been accentuated by the growing human and cattle population. People enter forests ever more to make cattle graze, collect fuel wood, timber and other minor forest produce. It has been estimated that about 90% of forest fires in India are man-made and on a frequent basis. Now we are going to look at the types of the forest fires. Primarily there are two types of forest fires. First, on the basis of how they burn, we can classify them 
as surface fire and ground fire. Surface fire, as its name suggests, that it spreads along the ground because of the surface it represents, as in leaves and twigs. Ground fire is the type of fire which usually happens because of the uh, thicky, uh, branchy part of the trees on the top. And when they burn down, uh, due to the flow of air and all the other factors, they jump from tree to tree. In this picture, we can see how a surface fire spreads. In this slide, we can clearly see how the crown fire uh, spreads from tree to tree. As it, we can see, it jumps from tree top to tree top. Now we are going to look at the effects of forest fire. As for, uh, fire is a dangerous thing, it burns down a lot of, lot of things and a lot of valuable resources present in the forest. Uh, first, we get a loss of valuable timber resources. Second, degradation of catchment area. The areas from which the rivers, lakes and start and they, they thrive on, those areas become less. Loss of biodiversity and extinction of plants and animals. As we can also know that because of presence of fire, the wildlife will be hurt and then as they can die and burn and get injured because of the fire. Loss of wildlife habitat and depletion of wildlife. As the forest is burned down, the animals won't have much area to, be, to live and, they, and that's why it will be, we increase, the, increase their pressure to live and they will find it hard to uh, survive in those conditions as the competition will arise and they won't have uh, food resources and uh, habitat resources. Uh, natural regeneration and reduction of forest cover is also reduced. And global warming is also a big, is a big disadvantage, um, a big cause of the forest fire. Loss of carbon sink resource and increase in percentage of carbon dioxide in atmosphere. Change in the microclimate of the area with unhealthy living conditions. As we can see, because of fire, uh, as the fire will happen, it will change the climate and all. So. Uh, as plants are burned down, the roots of plants won't be there to hold down the soil and it will affect soil erosion. Ozone layer is depleted as because of the, all the pollution and all those can, or toxins which would be released. Health problem will be spread to the nearby people and animals. Loss of livelihood for tribal people and the rural people as approximately 300 million. As of now, 300 million people uh, are dependent on the forest for their survival and getting their earning. People are directly dependent upon collection of non-timber forest product from forest area for their livelihood. Okay. Stop. Okay. So now let's discuss the need for fire management. The incidence of forest fires in the country is on the increase and more area is being burnt each and every year. The major cause of this failure is a piecemeal approach to the problem. Both the national focus and the technological resources required for sustaining a systematic forest fire management program are lacking in our own country. Important forest fear management elements like strategic fire centers, coordination among ministers, funding, human resource development, fire research, fire management and extension programs are missing in our country. Taking into consideration the serious nature of the forest fire situation in our country, it is necessary to make some major improvements in the forest fire management strategy. The Ministry of Environment and Forest Government of India has prepared a national master plan for forest fire control. This plan proposes to introduce a well-coordinated and integrated fire management program that includes the following components. Prevention of human caused for, uh, forest fires to education and environmental modification. It includes silvicultural activities, engineering works, people participation and education and enforcement. It is proposed that more emphasis would be given to people participation through joint forest management for fire prevention. Prompt detection of fires through a well-coordinated network of observation points efficient ground uh, patrolling and communication networks. Remote sensing technology is to be given due importance in fire detection. For successful fire management and administration, a National Fire Danger Rating System NFDRS, and Fire Forecasting System are to be developed in the country.
fast initial attacking measures will be taken vigorous follow up actions will also be considered introducing a forest fuel modification system at strategic points and fire fighting resources are also considered in the following steps each of the above mentioned components play a very important role in the success of the entire system of fire management special emphasis is to be given to research training and development so here we have our case studies with the first uh, case study being the great chicago fire which will be followed by another case study on the pestigo fire so the great chicago fire was a conflagration that burned from october 8th to october 10th in 1871 killing hundreds and destroying about 3.3 square miles which is around 9 square kilometers in chicago though the fire was one of the largest us disasters of the 19th century the rebuilding that began helped develop chicago Chicago as one of the most populous and economically important American cities it is a city that we all must learn from the traditional account of the origin of the fire is that it was started by a cow kicking over a lantern in a barn but the official report could not determine the exact cause the fire spread was aided by the city's use of wood as the predominant building material and a drought prior to the fire a strong winds from the southwest that carried flying embers towards the heart of the city all contributed to the fire spreading more than 3 of the structures in chicago at the time of the fire were made entirely of wood and hence naturally they burned down after 2 days of the fire burning out of control rain in the end helped douse the remaining fire city officials estimated that more than 300 people died in the fire and more than 100000 were left homeless Here we can see a representation of the aftermath of the great Chica great fires of Chicago in 1871 it is truly a sad sight to behold this is the pestigo fire here we can see a map of the affected areas and other factors in detail the pestigo fire was a forest fire that took place on October 8, 1871 in Pestigo, Wisconsin. On the same day as the Pestigo and Chicago fires, the cities of Holland and Manistee, Michigan, across the Lake Michigan also burned. On the day of the fire, a cold front moved in from the west, bringing strong winds that fanned smaller fires and escalated them to massive proportions. Firestorm ensued. By the time it was over 4,860 km square, or 1.2 million acres of forest had been consumed 12 communities were destroyed an accurate death toll has never been determined because local records were destroyed in the fire between 1200 to 5, 2500 people are thought to have lost their lives the pestigo fire of wisconsin an artist representation <laughs> 